Good morning. Today is the day. Mm. It's time to get up. Here's some coffee. Let's go vlog. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. What is this flavor you've got here? It's root beer float, like one of the best flavors of keto chow. No, not my favorite. Well, you're gonna be in trouble then. You told me that you wanted keto chow and keto brick for food today. That's what you wanted. Yes, because today is the day that I get rid of the skunk that's going on right here. Mm -hmm. And I feel anxious. I feel very, very nervous about this whole process. I don't know how long or short my hair is going to be at the end of the day. I don't know what color exactly my hair is going to I'm be. I'm really liking the pigtails. I, think, well, I don't know if maybe pigtails are over because she has to chop off a bunch of unhealthy hair. Like, I do not know. And on days when I do not know what is going on fully, I need to be able to just eat stuff that I don't have to think about. Like, I like keto chow, I like keto brick because of that. I don't wanna be negotiating with dinner later. Otherwise, I'm gonna find myself at an at a, the bottom of a bag of that moon cheese we got from Costco. Well, you've got a coconut cream keto brick. So okay. There you go. I'm yes. eating chocolate peanut butter. All right. And then, I hate to tell you, but I, I made three keto chows. And they're all, all root beer float. All root beer float. Well, I have a lot of root beer float. It and is your one of your favorites. One of my favorites. And I was looking for like my current favorite. And I'm out, completely out of it. So your current favorite is chocolate peanut butter? Chocolate peanut butter. Because it makes delicious ice cream because it's of the extra fat. All about the ice cream. By the way, guess what? The other favorite that I have is pistachio, which we're out of pistachio. But they have big bags now. Yeah, big bags got announced today. So now you can get lemon meringue and pistachio in the big bags. You can use a link down below. That's going to get you 10% off. But yeah. So today we're having root beer float. Is it weird that I think that pistachio is a holiday flavor? Like I think it's a good holiday flavor for people coming over. I, I think know. if you turn I'm it. I'm excited about it though. If you turn it into your cheesecake. Right. I think it would be really cool. We can try that. Let's do that. Okay, so. Not yeah, today though. We're doing. I'll eat the whole pie. Well, today we're having keto chow. So we're gonna have keto chow and keto brick. I don't know if I'm gonna do a full keto brick and then one keto chow, or if I'm going to do like two keto chows and a half a brick. I haven't decided yet. But honestly, I'm glad we're doing this today because uh, with all of the stress going on right now and everything going on in the world and like I don't know what's going on in, in the house and I've had so many videos to edit and we've had so much work to do and like change of seasons, I've been super stressed and when I'm super stressed, the midnight snacking. The midnight snacking starts. and Rears uh, its ugly hay. Not just midnight snacking, it's whatever I happen to come across as I open up the refrigerator. Like, oh, a piece of bacon or a spoonful of sour cream. If it's sitting on my counter. So yeah, night not eating a lot, but eating often and giving me a taste to eat a lot. So I'm honestly thinking that I'm gonna probably do keto chow and keto brick for a few days. I'm down with that because the new keto bricks are probably coming in the mail this week. Oh, well, who said I was sharing those? Oh well, I mean you don't get a vote on that. There's no vote on that. Well, I did order a 30 day supply of them. So I have 28 of them. So a 15 day supply for Joe and a 15 day I, supply for I was for thinking a 21 day supply for Joe. Okay. No. Well, you thought wrong. No, that's not fair. No, it's not. I'll eat like 14 of those and you can have 14 of those. Okay. But 
I get the last two chocolate peanut butters because there are no more of those. Okay, I that's a deal. 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 Okay, so I have to take a shower. You have to take a shower. And I have the first big decision of the day. Okay. Okay, because I am getting my hair done by somebody that I don't know. This is a this is a backup plan. This is worse than going to a dentist that you don't know. But this is a trusted um, stylist from several of my friends. Okay. So I trust them and I know that like if they vouch for them then like this this stylist is gonna be awesome. But how do you convey what you want with what you wear? Like obviously I'm walking in there today, I've got jacked up hair that I feel like indicates to the world, help me, I don't know what I'm doing. But I want to convey the message like Please don't turn me into one of the Golden Girls hairstyles from the Golden Girls show. So I feel a pressure to like wear an outfit that says, hey, I'm cool. Like help me out. Like I'm worth like saving from this head of hair. But like, what do you wear? Am I the only person that thinks about that you want to dress to like indicate to the stylist, like, please don't give up on me based on like how jacked up my hair is. What do you wear to the stylist? If it's somebody new, I mean, Let us know down below. if it's a trusted friend, then they know you and they get you. But like, if you're meeting a stylist for the first time and they may be making a major change to your head, what do you wear? I don't want you to stress out too much. It's, no matter what, it's gonna look awesome. It's worse than a job interview today. It's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go get in the shower. You go stand in front of your closet, then you get in the shower, I'm gonna go to work, and then the next time I see you, you're going to have highlights. I'm excited. The rain was so bad yesterday, I couldn't get the eggs. So oh, wow. So Anthony and I just got home from work and it was kind of a sad morning. One of my customers sold their house. And uh, this is a customer I've had for 20 years. And I watched his kids grow up. I watched them go off to college. And now he is moving further north in the state so that he could be closer to his kids and his grandchildren. So today was the very last cut and it was kind of like saying goodbye to a family member. Well, all of my backpedaling has come to an end. I am outside of Polish Salon here in Coral Springs, Florida, and I'm ready to deal with my hair. My hair appointment is in 15 minutes, but I'm here early mostly because I feel like I'm gonna need a pee break. I am so, so nervous walking in here. I know I'm gonna be in good hands with Miss Trish. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. So here we go. So I was on my way to Home Depot to get a couple things and Rachel called me who was at the salon and asked if I can come meet her over there. So I'm curious what she wants. I just got here and I'm gonna go inside and see what's going on. Uh oh. <laughs> It's happening. Are you excited about this? I am so excited. I was very nervous and until I met Miss Trisha and I was like, okay, I'm in totally good hands. Like this is this is good. <laughs> we needed somebody that knew more than me and more than than Mr. Clean over here. And and Well, I, I that, obviously know what to do with hair. Obviously. Just shave it all off. I thought maybe that was like our next like adventure with just anything to get rid of the skunk. So let me get this straight. We're not eating today. We're not eating regular food. It, you're not. And you're next door to Wings, Wings Plus. And, I know. When I, when I realized that it was next to Wings Plus, I was like, oh, I'm glad I got have a plan already because yeah, I'd be at Wings Plus right. I now. know you would because the, their wings are really good. Oh, I was just coming. Out. I like it. Well, like it or not, here it is. I really like it. And she didn't have to cut everything off. She didn't have to cut everything off, which she was actually surprised. Thank you, Orbe Purple Shampoo, because I feel like it really helped the process. Well, come inside. <sighs> I really like it. It's gonna take some getting used to for me, but I think she did, like for me, it was a good transition to not just go to that one, one, tone that I'm used to from a box dye. In a box right. dye, you get one color, right. that's it, right? Like you spray painted a car and there's only one color. And for this, it was like probably the transition that my hair was gonna go through if I had done it when I was 17. I really like where it. Where you have some dark and you have some light. And I think the strangest conversation was afterwards and I'm like, well, how soon do I have to come back? And she's like, you mean for a haircut? Like in six weeks or so, probably it will grow out. But as far as like coloring it, 
Right. You're not going to have to. Like, you'll just, whatever your hair color will be. Well, I figured we were going to keep adding more and more highlights until it just no. all turned white. She said it'll probably be a while for my hair to grow out fully. Right. But she said, yeah, just keep using, like, the good shampoo. Right. Because you don't want it to turn bronzy. That's the danger. Is right. that you're going to get that, like, dirty tea like weak tea looking color. She's like, if that's the case, we can tone it. But otherwise, if you keep it healthy, it'll just grow you. Cool. And that was that was unbelievable to me because I'm used to every couple of weeks, we've got to dye the roots again. And it didn't cost us like $1,000. It was 150 bucks, which like- That's a lot for you. That's a ton for me. It's but, worth it. But you know what? After watching all those Brad Mondo videos, all I could think of was, how much money would I be paying and then paying her to undo what I did at home if I didn't just well, wait? Well, you think about it, like $150, it seems like a lot, but, you know, we would use, like, the box dyes that were, like, $13, $14 a piece, and you were using one a month, so it's only, like, six months of you coloring your hair, but you're not going to have to color it anymore. Well, and if we would have bought things at Sally's, we would have destroyed your hair. Tone, we would have destroyed my hair. We would have bought the toner. We would have bought like all of this like oops. And that stuff's not cheap. Right. It was like $20 for that splat. And you know, it wouldn't have left it on correctly. And it would have been a mess. So. I really like it. And like I said, as it turns white now, like if you want just like some like, hey, I want to have fun. Yeah. You can get some of that like wash in, wash out red and blue. I mean, those are like normal colors now. So we could turn your hair purple to match two crazy ketos but then wash it out at the end of the day and you're not going to affect your hair. I definitely think I'm going to have to up my makeup game though because your makeup looks awesome. I'm a lot lighter. So I mean, I probably need to do more with my eyes and, you know, red lips and that kind of thing. What do you think, Tabitha? I think she's Look like Look at mommy. She's like, "Who's this lady?" Oh, she likes it. But now I am super glad that we had a plan for today. Yes, because go go on down. Because when I got over there and saw you were next to Wings Plus, I was like, I want Wings Plus. So, but they, that place has the best blue cheese. Like, the blue cheese costs more money than the wings. It and it's worth it. Seriously, it's so good there. I think they charge like $10 for a four ounce container of it. And it was funny, when I was leaving, I liked my hair. But I don't know how my family is going to like my hair. And the stress of thinking like, I hope Joe likes it. I hope Joe likes it. I hope the kids like it. All that kind of thing. All I could think of was if we didn't have a plan right now for what I was going to have for lunch, I would have gone over to Wings and Things and gotten, you know, 50 wings. And not shared them with me. And not even thought about it. So I was glad to just kind of rein in that bad habit of like, whether or not Joe likes this or not, that is not attached to what I put in my mouth. It doesn't right. need to be attached. We've got a plan. We're eating keto brick. And I did change up the plan slightly. And that is, instead of coconut, I want a peanut butter right one. Here, you get home just in time because it's pouring out again. Exactly. Yeah, I have bad news. I thought I had a bunch of these. These are the last two peanut butters. Wow. So, so I had Oh yeah. I had a snickerdoodle keto chow at church. That was left over from That was left over from Sunday because I was going to have a keto chow Sunday afternoon and we decided we'd have steak What later. did you think about that? Because each one of those keto chows has a half a tablespoon of gelatin in it. So it's I was thick. Curious, it's like thick, right? Very, it's like very a thick. pudding thick. But it took it a long time to, to defrost because I, oh, I put it in the freezer thinking like, ah, if I put it in a couple hours, it'll be fine. Well, a day or so, it was frozen solid but um I when i was left out. but it was funny because when i was drinking it or eating it um everybody at church was like that looks delicious is that seriously like lunch for you i was like yeah we eat ice cream on keto who would have thought i was in autumn's live stream today and they were talking about dogs because she was having you know her dogs like get haircuts today and i'm like that's why we have a lab because you never have to get a haircut oh but the hair's everywhere and somebody all the time. somebody made a comment that's a lab i didn't realize they get this big they it's a don't horse. normally get this big tabitha the miniature she, horse we were expecting like female lab should be about 75 pounds or 100 plus yeah she weighs over 100 pounds and she's not even like really fat she's just a big dog i mean look at the size of these paws like, she's got giant beast. paws. 
So we're gonna pause and I'm gonna eat half of this peanut butter keto brick. Tabitha's trying to figure out who you are. Yeah. Tabitha, sit. Who is this lady? Sit. No, don't jump, sit. Good girl, look at her. She's like, oh, I'm gonna get something to eat. So let's see, an entire keto brick is gonna be 151 grams. Ooh, mine's 165. That doesn't mean you get extra. Bonus. <laughs> it's not like though, 165 grams, but the label only says 151, so that's all you're really getting. Hey, half is half. <laughs> what is half of 165? You're asking me to do math? Well, half of 60 is 30 plus 50. That's 80. Ooh, that just ruined my knife. <laughs> Let's see how good you got it. So what am I aiming for? You're looking for 82 and a half. That's pretty good. That is pretty freaking good for just eyeing it. So I'm doing 82 and a half. Yeah, that's going to be way too much. <laughs> oh. It doesn't really matter. I think that's close enough. I think we're in the ballpark. I'm trying to decide, do I want a complete keto brick? Flyways. And then have one keto chow? Or do I want to have a half a keto brick and two keto chows? And I really can't decide. Then I can't decide on the flavor because now that I know that there is only one and a half peanut butter keto bricks You're left. You're going to squirrel them away. I'm like, do I really want to eat that? Because I'm not going to buy any more peanut butters because I have like a stockpile of every other flavor. So you need to eat all the other ones. Like we need to eat up the other flavors. And if I order more peanut butter, I'm just going to keep eating peanut butter. That's why I don't have any peanut butters left, but I have like lots of mocha and coconut cream. and Because you keep coming almond. out with a new flavor and that flavor gets increasingly awesome. Right. So I feel like we need to eat a bunch of the mocha ones but I don't know what I really want. What am I gonna eat? So the decision's been made. I'm gonna have a Cinnamon Crunch 2.0 Keto Brick. What are you doing? Working on a new hat. How many hats are you going to make? I'm giving them out as presents. Maybe it's time to work on a blanket. That's a lot. I like the immediate gratification of working on a hat because I can finish one in a day. You realize that we live in South Florida and nobody really needs hats in South Florida. Well, I gave a little girl a hat today when I was at church and she said, you made this for me? So she really liked it. Well, that's good. If we could make summer wear out of these things, I would do that. But since we can't, everybody's getting a hat. So I'm thinking about calling an audible. I still have a keto chow left, but I really want some more protein. And since I ate a keto brick, which is like 80% fat, I'm thinking about doing a can of chicken breast with just some Redmond seasoned salt, like no mayonnaise, no nothing. Just like that's super high protein. Add in some Redmond's, which will like give me a bunch more salt. And that'll give me something else to eat without adding a whole bunch of fat. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. And I think as soon as I hear that, I want to turn it into a chicken crust pizza. So I better stick with my keto child. So now that you said that, <laughs> what if I do a can of chicken into a chicken crust pizza and we put a little bit of rouse marinara sauce on it but we don't put any cheese on it we just do chicken crust pizza with a little bit of parmesan cheese and rouse i'm starting to sound like from fatso yeah like, right we can take this you're doing some negotiating but why did you have to say the chicken crust pizza that is almost as bad as going to a hair salon next to Wings Plus. Yeah, and I've done both of those things today. Now I really want Wings Plus. I Thanks a lot. I really want Wings Plus. Do you Wings see where Plus. this went? It went from a little bit of chicken to a chicken crust pizza to Wings well, Plus. Well, I'm not going to Wings Plus because Wings Plus is really expensive. And they don't cook in lard, but they do at least cook in peanut oil. So it's not as bad as canola oil. Their wings don't affect us that much, but... They're just super expensive, so we never get them. And I can't go there without getting the blue cheese. When things are cost prohibitive. Well, they make their blue cheese with, like, not good oils, but they hand make it, and it's really, really good, and it's so expensive. Like, I want five ounces of their blue cheese dressing for just me. Yeah. So what are we doing? 
sticking to keto chow. What are you doing? I finished my hat. Oh, I thought you were going to put that thing on me. I was like, you better not put that thing on it's me. It's for a little girl at church. Isn't that pretty, though? Pink and that purple. That came out really, really nice. You're getting good at this. I'm loving it. We're going to put you into, like, you know, a sweat factory. And you can just keep making a bunch of hats like this. Because you're that, knocking out a couple of them a day. That is terrible. No, it's like I, it, I can think about the person and pray for them and, and make them a hat. So, <laughs> okay. So, I was good. I've got, doesn't look very good on camera, but I've got a can mm. of Kirkland chicken breast. It smells good. I put some of the Redmond season salt in, which is awesome. There's a link down below for that. And we have a coupon code. It's two crazy ketos. It gets 15% off. It's so stinking good. I love that stuff. Anthony used the garlic one yesterday for your steaks. That's what he it, did the whole steak with. Next level. It's like the garlic salt one. Really, really good. Uh, and then I put... Like a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese in here, like Parmesan uh, Romano cheese in here. Uh huh. And I, you really got me thinking about that whole like chicken crust pizza. But I was good because I got to avoid the mozzarella cheese. So you know what's different between you and me? What? If it was me, I would have added about like eight ounces of water because I want it to be like soupy. Plus... I'm trying to be good by not adding mayo. I really want mayo in this. No, I'm telling you, turning it into a soup like that, because that seasoning salt from Redmond's, like, really packs a broth that, that taste. I, sh I could do that, but... It's not mm, too late. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. You like things drier, and I like things mushy. No, I like things mushy, but I want to eat, and I don't want to wait for hot water to boil. <laughs> We don't even have time for that. I have to wait for mine. My keto chow chocolate toffee, because we didn't do the root beer thing, um, is actually in the drawer of the freezer, but not quite at the frosty level I want. It's getting time that like we need to finish up our eating here. Oh, don't you worry. I'll get it in. I guess we should watch this like another episode of Hannibal. Have you guys seen Hannibal? Oh, my God! I don't know what network this was on, but I don't know how it was on. It had to be on, like, a cable channel, right? Because, like, this thing is kind of, like, gruesome. I am taking note of the writers on this show, and I am never... Never looking for them. I am never traveling down a dark there alley. There's some sick minds wrote that night. show. I mean, brilliant, but frightening. All I know is now I want to go watch, like, the original, like, Silence of the Lambs oh, me and too. all that stuff. Well, because there's a lot of the characters in there. They're not necessarily doing exactly what they do in the movies, but, like, they're there. Like, Mason, he's there. Right. We're watching Chris and Miriam I on know. their weekly live stream. Well, and they've got Bronson on. Yeah. Look at all these cutie patooties up here. What do you got? I've got some keto chow. And, like, it's still not frozen enough like my dream is it's this way all the way down the entire cylinder that's my favorite thing <laughs> but you know what it's icy enough that it will do why do you do that now i just like it frosty i like eating it maybe that's weird is it to make it take longer to eat or? Yeah, because I can suck down a keto chow. Yeah, me too. I sucked down a keto chow in like 30 seconds. And I I like coffee. So I thought, well, I'll make it hot. And they do make some good hot chocolates, but I can suck it down too. Even the hot doesn't slow me down. It just burns my tongue. I want to be in for a moment. Let me in. I'll want to leave as soon as I come in. The cat is crying. Oh. The bird. We need some food. Give me the food because, yeah, he's not going to stop. No. He's not going to stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Want to say hi to everybody? He's like, no, I want to no, eat. No, I want my food. I want food, please. Cherry's waiting down below. And the bird. We have to put it up, though, because Tabitha also will eat their food. And the bird is like at the bottom of the cage going, there's not enough food in my bowl. Like there's food there, it but to, I want more food. It needs, it needs to, to be mounded overflow. Yeah. so that he can dig through it and throw half of it on the ground on the food that costs like $95 for a bag of, do of, of bird food. Pets are not an investment because you're thinking, man, I'm going to like do this so cheaply, right? I think the only worse investment than a car or an RV is a pet. 
or a better one. Because all of the money that you spend on a pet Roscoe. pretty much goes into a litter box Roscoe. or into the ground. Roscoe. Are you coming back up to eat now? Not you. Look at this. She's like, ah, uh, there's no room. <laughs> Over here. Okay, Rasco found it. We have too many pads. We have a connect. This okay. is mornings. Mornings. Okay, you gotta get down. Come on, get down. There you go. Okay, good morning. Good morning. I have the Berkey back there. And uh, here's the thing. You know how every house has a chore that nobody wants to do? Right. The chore that nobody wants to do in our house is fill the Berkey. Would you like, like to listen to Tabitha's new toy? She, she really wants to share it. Give me that. Oh my God. Oh, look, here's the other one. It's a circus. Look at this. So they had a deal at BJ's. It was like three toys for $7. Still has the eyeballs. She's had this thing for three days and it still has eyeballs. Where that is go? a good toy for that our is. dog. Like that means it's well made because she hasn't pulled the stuffing out. She goes straight for serial killer mode. <laughs> but, and I love this color too. I mean, it's, I'm sure there was a pink version. There was a red one and a blue one. But I like the blue one, even though we usually get her pink stuff. That's super cute. For yeah. How much was it? Six dollars. It was six six dollars and fifty cents for, for three, three toys. toys. It was this, a like two the tennis rope. balls tied on a rope, and then like another like long thing. So no, because it makes too much noise. In a minute. So back to the Berkey. So yeah, every house has a chore that nobody wants to do, but everybody relies on. We love drinking out of it. Yeah. And we all really, really love. Filling the glass bottles because the yeah they're all sitting here, but nobody empty. ever wants to. Nobody wants to fill. Them. Everybody wants to drink out of them, but nobody wants to fill them. We all love drinking out of them. There's something so magical about the glass bottle with the water in it. It yeah. just tastes so freaking good. It's like the toilet paper thing. You go into the boys' bathroom every time I go into that bathroom. There's never toilet paper, and I'm looking like. What do you do? Just don't wipe your butt? Or do you say like, you know what? I'm not gonna go to the restroom until somebody changes the toilet paper. I really feel like we need to share what their toilet toilet paper dispenser looks like because it's literally a hook. Yeah. <laughs> like hanging on the hook. But there's not even toilet paper in their bathroom. Like they have to go to the oh. garage to get it. It's the same thing with the water. It's like they will drink that water all day long. I have and then the Berkey is empty. Yeah. And all of a sudden, nobody's going to drink water. Like, I would rather just not drink water. Do you get eye boogers when you sleep? Sometimes. What does that mean? I don't know. I mean, mm. I'm not sick or anything. Okay. It's, I don't even know. It's like 7.30 in the morning. It's, it's already a morning of nonsense. Get your act nonsense. together o'clock. It's morning of nonsense. I have to go get chicken food because they ate the food. And here comes the cat. <laughs> He's like a giant. There he goes. It was a Godzilla. So I have to go get chicken food because they ate like all of their food. And I don't like the granular. I like the pellet. So I have to go to Tractor Supply to get that. We did learn that when there's a storm brewing, they're nervous eaters. They ate double. They, more than double. Because I Every filled day. the tube the other day and the tube is empty. And that tube should last like a month. Yeah. They are nervous eaters. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Because, yeah, they have like constant access to food on top of, you know, what they the free range for. The pumpkins that you threw out there Well, right I now. mean, they've got pumpkins. We put out squash. So I'll go get grapes for them. Like they and they and And we do do protein too. They do get eggs and stuff like that. Um, you feed them their own eggs. Like, I like think something's wrong with them eating their own eggs. Cook them first <laughs> and give them the shells because it, Anthony was laughing. He was like, these shells are so legit. Yeah. When you try to crack one of their eggs, it's like, you got to be intentional. Anthony made hard boiled eggs with them last night. I, I'm curious how they came out with because sometimes I'm like excited. when you get them, like, cause they were like the same day eggs. So I'm curious how they came out. Yeah. So, so yeah, I have to go do that. Um, it's the next morning. What do you think? I woke up. It looks awesome. You have not taken a shower. I haven't taken a shower yet. Nope, you haven't taken a shower. Sorry. Um, no, you smell great, but. Thank you. Yeah. But um, I got up and I honestly went into the bathroom, you know, like the sleepy look where you glance at the mirror and I was like, who's that in my bathroom? <laughs> because it is a striking 
difference. Mm -hmm. It is a difference to go from really, really dark, dark hair, like almost like black to, right. to this. It was a big difference, but I feel so good. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do the morning, just tie it up because I sleep and my back of my hair always looks like there's an explosion. I don't know what happens. And then I have a ball of explosion in the back. Do you sleep and your hair gets weird? Like I sleep and my hair gets really, really weird, especially when I, I really don't have that problem. I know you don't have that problem. I don't have that problem. But anyway, long story longer, too late. Um, I just put it up on the sides and usually I'm super conscious that like, oh, I am going to leak through. Like right. you're gonna have a peek at what is the truth if I put my hair up in the morning. And for the first it time matter. ever, it was like the truth was good. It was good news. It was like, actually, I put it up. I see what is actually me on the bottom there, like at the root. And it's like, the, it's not going to hurt my hair situation. It's actually feeding into my, my, my hair goals. And I felt like super good. I really, I'm really, really liking it. I felt really, I really, really like good. It. I really like it. So it's here. Okay. Um, we're going to finish with the vlog, but I did want to mention. What's in yours? Um, power creamer. I'm I'm really enjoying this. I mean, we have three bottles of it. One tablespoon. It's one tablespoon, but I was using that. the little stir. You know the you know this thing here. The frother. The frother. And we had to get a new one because our old one. This broke. is a brand new one, and I like this one because it's like no battery, like it's USB, okay. so you don't have to worry about that um. as much. Does anybody else have the problem where you do this and the coffee ends up all over the table? Yes. I, is, can somebody tell me, I see all of these people like, ooh, look at this, and it's perfect. I turn this thing on, unless that mug is like only half full, the coffee's all over the table. Yeah. Does like that's why I end up having to pull out the Vitamix because I don't want to make a mess, but then I got to clean the whole Vitamix and then I'm like, I'm just not going to drink coffee. I've got some really sad news for us what? i think that the reason why we keep getting bigger and bigger coffee mugs on the market is the design that like people want to froth their drinks at home so they're like fill it halfway like a responsible amount of coffee do your frothing and then go enjoy Except it we just fill it up with coffee but we fill it up with coffee like the entire thing gets filled up so like every time that they up their coffee size game, we up how much coffee we drink. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this because it's the butter, which I do enjoy a little bit of stuff. I, I'm trying to move away from super sweetened, super sweetened stuff because the sweetened stuff's been like kind of taking me over the edge lately. Um, so it's slightly sweetened. I'm not adding any stevia, but I like the flavor. And uh, they just sent us the new one, the chocolate one. Yeah. The, uh, the peppermint. Oh my gosh, that it's stuff so is good. so good. We also have a discount code. It's two crazy ketos. It gets you ten percent off. It works really good as magic shell. Yes, it does. It becomes like magic shell on your ice cream, like your keto. Why ice cream. is it that new products come out and we find some alternative, irresponsible way to utilize them? Like they're like. We made this to put in the coffee, be an adult, and we're like, no, we're gonna put it on top of ice cream and eat it like magic shell, because we're toddlers. Because yeah, something's wrong with us. Well, I think that is a good place to end today's, I don't know how long vlog is. Sorry. So, now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the videos, which we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we do something amazing with, with mine or Joe's hair, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.